Good afternoon. This is Dan Foster in the Fig Patch here in Michigan. It's October 1st and I'm reviewing some of my favorite figs of 2022. Some of the figs that I've put in my center row. One of the ones that I'm probably going to put in a bigger pot next year because it's impressed me and it's uh, been really productive for me this year is Fico Seco Piacentino. Also known as, um, I actually received it as Fico Greco or Fico Greco um, and it was listed as coming from Paolo Bologna. I got it from my friend Phil Koval over by the Cleveland area. Um, I think he got it from Mario. Mario lists it as Greco. Um, someone corrected me later and said that Paolo, Paolo Bologna never had a fig called Fico Greco. Um, after some research and some, some digging around, there's uh, several others that are called Nerino or Moro de Caniva. I really think that these are all synonyms. They all look very similar. And so I'm going to refer to this one from here on out as Fico Seco Piacentino. I've also got Mora de Convina from Harvey, from Figaholics. Um, and they match. The leaves look almost identical. The fruit looks identical. So I really feel like they're synonyms. So um, we're going to take a look at this one and um, evaluate it and take some pictures of it. Actually, I've been taking pictures of this one all year long, or all season long. Um, so you can see I still have the tag on it that says Greco, just simply Greco. Um, it, what, it, what it likes to do is it, it dries on the, the tree. It's got a fairly closed eye on it. And when it ripens, it shrivels up, and it just kind of dries on the tree. So each branch, it, it's very productive. Um, it's got a long ripening season. It's rain resistant, bug resistant. Um, it's health. It's a healthy grower. Uh, the first year that I had it, it seemed to have a pretty strong case of fig mosaic virus. But since then, it's really grown out of it. And you can see, it is. Um, you got to scoot the Socorro Black out of the way. Socorro Black's doing really well right now too. But you can see it's just loaded with figs. It's got tons of them on there. I've been picking this one for quite some time. I definitely feel like this is worthwhile to, for anyone to grow. So, um, yeah, it's got a long neck for ease of picking. So, let's pick a few of these and we'll plate them up and taste them. Uh, the leaves, the leaf shape that you're looking for is, this is pretty typical right here. You can see like that leaf right there on the same plant looks totally different. People oftentimes try to identify a fig by the leaf shape. That sometimes works. This is pretty typical right there. So yeah, let's, let's get a couple of these weighed up and plated up and we'll taste them and give you our thoughts on them. All right, we, we picked five figs. 5 divided, 98 divided by 5, roughly 18, 19 grams. So they're not a big fig. They're a small fig. Um, they're all pretty consistent, though. There's not, like, big ones and little ones. They're all pretty much the same. So um, I think this could be a good one for, like, markets if, if somebody was inclined to do so. So, yeah, we're going to plate it up and taste them. Okay. So we've got it plated up. I've taken a few pictures. I've actually taken a lot of pictures of this one this year because like I say, it's it's been ripening probably for a good three to four weeks now. So. Which side do you want? This one's really shriveled up. So we've got a really shriveled up one and they all crack but they don't they don't split and bust open though that's one thing i like about them so and i feel like if we did get some rain these would be okay mm. Mm -hmm. it's like it's very sweet it's sweet but 
got nice and chewy skin. The skin. But you know what? I just had a taste. Skin's not really thick though. I just though. had a note of coconut. Really? Mm -hmm. That's usually an indication that they're not ripe. When I when I taste coconut, usually that means they're not the most ripe. But it was really good. Though. I don't know. I didn't get it's it. really good. It tasted like I don't know. It's got a taste of a. Uh, it's almost citrusy to me. Let's eat another one. Yeah, let's try another one. Mm. I like the skin. Mm hmm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I like that. <laughs> it's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so Delicious. this is Fico Seco Piacentino, aka Narino, Moro de Cabina, Fico Greco. It's probably got a few other names. But um, I think it's a winner here. I'm going to bump it up into a bigger pot next year. And um, we'll compare it uh, against the Mora de Covina from Harvey. But so far, I, I think they're identical. The leaves look identical. So, um, so anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, like and subscribe. Uh, comment below if you agree, disagree, or want to add anything. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.